Welcome back to Helldivers 2, and today I'm eager to talk about this game, which for me came out of nowhere. So what is Helldivers 2? It's a third and first person PvE shooter that is all about doing missions, extracting and blowing things up. It's available on PC and PS5, and yes, there is crossplay. And for me and my experience and my community, it's been working flawlessly. Let me add to that. We found a workaround to make it work flawlessly. First, don't use quick play. It just doesn't work properly. Maybe they fix it now, I do not know. Instead, use the invite to squad system in the game. And if it doesn't work for you, try rebooting the game. The game focuses on player progression through completing missions on different planets while battling hordes of enemies, and let me tell you, it's incredibly fun. Helldivers 2 is the sequel to Helldivers, a top-down shooter by Arrowhead Studios. Helldivers 2, however, is a third and first-person shooter. This game draws heavy inspiration from fantasy universes like Starship Troopers, Warhammer 40k and Star Wars. If I've missed any, do let me know in the comments. It's clear there are more inspirations behind this game. When you first start Helldivers 2, you're taken through your training course. After completing it, you're sent to orbit, starting as a cadet and working your way through the ranks of the Star Citizen. Missions come with nine different difficulty levels. The higher the difficulty, the more and tougher the enemies you'll face. But the rewards are also more significant. Certain items for later upgrades are obtained by tackling these higher difficulties. With the game's introduction out of the way, let's dive into the review. Helldivers 2 had a rocky launch with connection errors and instability, which is unfortunate because the game deserves better reviews than the initial ones. It seems these days, if a game doesn't launch smoothly, live up to the hype, and is free of any microtransactions, regardless of the implementation, is destined for poor reviews. However, Helldivers 2 is now receiving positive feedback after fixing many of the launch issues. The developers have also announced a new event to make up for the launch troubles. The game offers a good range of graphic settings and runs surprisingly well considering its beautiful graphics. I've been playing on an older PC with a 2080 Ti, i9-9900K and 64GB RAM and I can run the game on high settings without any noticeable frame drops. There has been a few hiccups, but that has been server related and have been fixed really fast. The gameplay loop is simple. As simple as squat or play solo, pick a map, choose a mission, select a loadout and dive into action. But as you play, you'll discover there's more to the game than just shooting aliens and accidentally blowing up squad mates while laughing. Enemies come in different types of difficulty. There's the cannon fodder that tries to overwhelm you in numbers and dies quickly. Then there are special units with medium armor and unique abilities, requiring smart engagement strategies. And finally, the titans, top tier enemies that can end your mission if you don't have the right arsenal. Progression in Helldivers 2 is split into two categories, your soldiers loadout and stratagems. The loadout includes various grenades, armors and weapons. And here's a side note, some weapons are definitely better than others and might need some tweaking. But the starting rifle is surprisingly effective compared to later unlocks, even the paid ones. Stratagems are your call-ins, allowing you to customize support based on the mission and your role in your squad. This can either be more ammo, more guns, or just huge explosions. The choice is yours. All stratagems are available regardless of the difficulty level you play, which is a smart design choice by Arrowhead Studios. So no matter what difficulty you find yourself playing in the game, you will eventually be able to unlock all the stratagems. However, 
Unlocking the full potential of stratagems requires completing missions on difficulty 7 or above. And that is because of the super rare materials you can find scattered all over the maps. Credits for stratagem unlocks are awarded after missions or found on the battlefield, while materials needed for unlocking perks are collected through looting and must be extracted to orb it. Your soldiers loadout are unlocked through medals awarded after mission completion or also found on the battlefield. Loadouts are divided into three stores, free upgrades, the premium warband and the credit store. Now regarding the big question of whether the premium content is paid to win, absolutely not. The premium items I find myself using are mainly armors and that's because of the skins which I plan to replace later on when I unlock more of the free stuff because hey, it looks cooler. Even the premium guns are lackluster compared to the free unlocks. So if you're considering the premium warband, do it for the skins and to support the developers, not for the power boost because it isn't there. The same goes for the credit store. It's all about skins. What about the deluxe edition then? Is it worth it? In short, no. The Deluxe Edition's armor and weapons don't stack up against the initial free unlocks. But if you're like me and want to support Arrowhead Studios, feel free to invest. Together for managed democracy. Together. So what is my thoughts and final verdict on this game? Helldivers 2 came out of nowhere for me and I went in blindfolded. And after my initial first evening of Helldivers 2, I haven't been able to put it down again. The game offers the perfect balance of good gameplay, beautiful graphics and art style, challenging yet engaging content and some of the best co-op experience I've felt in years. This combined with the promise of the developers, which involves more free content, such as the mech suits, I foresee that this game has a very bright future installed for itself. And therefore, my final verdict on Helldivers 2 is a solid 9 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was worth your time and will aid you in deciding if the game is for you or not. This is the first time I've done a gaming review, so if you have any feedback or just like what you've seen, let me know down in the comments and maybe even consider giving me a sub and help me in my hobby career of reaching YouTube partner. You may also find me streaming over Twitch TV slash Simon Says, where I tend to keep a positive yet engaging live stream. See you all next time. Simon out. <laughs>